Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to discuss some pharmacology. You're probably familiar with this pathway as this is the coagulation cascade. What we're going to discuss today is going to have to do with things that can inhibit this coagulation cascade. So the pharmacology to keep clotting from occurring or to break down clots. Specifically, we'll discuss direct thrombin inhibitors, which are going to directly inhibit the activity of thrombin, which we see here. Then we will discuss heparin. Heparin activates antithrombin, which will then decrease the action of our 2A, which is thrombin, as well as our factor 10A. Moving on, we will discuss warfarin. Warfarin inhibits our epoxide reductase, which will affect vitamin K dependent clotting factors. Specifically, those factors are 2, 7, 9, 10, and protein C and protein S. We will then discuss direct factor 10A inhibitors. 10A inhibitors are going to bind directly to and directly inhibit factor 10A, which will inhibit the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Later on, we will discuss thrombolytics, ADP receptor blockers, and glycoprotein 2B and 3A inhibitors. Thank you.